explain you what we do while we inspect the used machine. At first, we have a machine like this as an example. We take the basic configuration. It means we have our, our sheets where we check what how the machine is configured. Does it have a CE sign? Does the machine have a ripper valve or a ripper? What kind of bucket is mounted? Does it have an air conditioner? Is it a standard or an LGP machine? It means with a white shoes or with the standard truck. And we take note of all these points. The second step is checking the interior of the cab. So we, we start with reading the hours, checking if the coaches are working. We check for service codes, if we have any service information in the displays. We check if all the switches are okay. After we start the machine, we check if the air conditioner is running, if the heating is working. We check all the windows. If there are cracks on windows, we check the wipers rear and front. We check the doors if they are opening and closing correctly. We check the interior like floor mats. If the floor mats are okay, if there is rust underneath. We check if all the levers are in a good condition. And that's for the interior. Next step would be checking the engine. We take the dipstick. In this example here we can see there is some water residue on the dipstick. So we check further what's what's going on. And we see there is a oil, water, rust conglomerate here. It means there is water in the engine. We check the belts, if the belts are okay, if the coolers are okay, what the condition of the filters is. We have a look to the coolers. In this example we can see that the cooler has been moved here a little bit. That's, that's obviously not okay. Next step is checking bucket condition. We check while moving the machine what the pin condition is. We check the structure of the, of the lift frame. In this example we can see there is a small crack on both sides of the, of the lift frame. So there needs some repair to be done. We check the cylinders if there are leaks. If the cylinders are damaged or is everything okay? How are the cylinder pins, bushings, loader frame? Next part, undercarriage. For Caterpillar machines, we are able to measure the, the undercarriage. For all other machines, we make an estimation. So we check condition of bushings, carrier rollers, truck links, how good are the sprockets and what is the condition of the bottom rollers. We also check if we have leaking rollers, if we have any cracks on the truck frames, if the truck sag is okay and if the truck adjuster is in a good condition. inspection we drive the machine and we test the play in pins, the hydraulic system for noises, we listen to the engine, we check the lift time for the bucket, for a full bucket lift, then we operate the machine with driving reverse and forward, we try the steering, we try the brakes and we try to figure out if there are any problems, if there are any unknown noises to be sure the machine is uh, in the good condition or to figure out what we are doing. At the end of an inspection we give a uh, general command what the general 
condition of the machine is, what we think how the machine has been treated. And all these things are documented on our inspection reports. If you have further questions about the inspection procedure or what you can, can get when you order us for an inspection, do not hesitate to contact us by email or give us a call. You can also find on our website examples for uh, inspection reports. So whatever you like, just get in contact with us and we will try to help you.